Um, so this is the horns down for mellophones. Um, you're going to take your right hand, pinky in the pinky rest, three fingers on your valves, and your thumb like this, but you're going to press the keys down. You're going to take your left hand with your thumb around your horn and four fingers on top of them so that they're pressing the keys down. And the horn should be about a fist away from your chest, and so you can kind of put a fist there to kind of monitor it. And then the mouthpiece, you want it kind of level with your eyes, so it should kind of be between the middle of your eyes. And always remember that your arms should be at a triangle. You don't want them like this. You, you want them open and everything because it helps with your air support. Um, and also don't forget that your instrument needs to be parallel with your body and perpendicular to the ground. Mellophones, we have a big bell, so you know it is really obvious when it's diagonal or crooked, so really make sure it's straight. Bam! Horns up. Bam! Horns down. In the attention position, uh, it's kind of a two count move. What you're going to do is the first count when they say, you know, mellows, horns up, you snap it up like this, but your left hand hits down. And what it'll do is your left hand will stop your horn instead of, so you don't want it to bounce. So it'll go one. And then your other hand, because your keys are still down, you're going to just pop them up like this. So in the full, in the full two counts, it's one, two. Um, also, whenever you're in horns up, you should never have your mellophone walking like this. Even if you're not playing, your mellophone mouthpiece should always be at your mouth because so you're ready to play. And again, your arms need to be in a triangle and the bell should be 10 degrees above parallel. And so that means so you're looking up. It also helps with air again. One, two. Okay, so from the horns up to the horns down, it is a two count move again. It's a little bit different though. When they say, you know, uh, band horns down, right on the down is when you press the keys down. And so it's going to go mellows horns down. Then the second move is you take your left hand from this side and you just grab onto the horn. Again, your left hand should stop the horn. I mean, it's going to stop the horn in both horns up and horns down. And so most of the weight of your horn should be in your left hand. You do not want to put all the weight on your pinky, otherwise your pinky will be dead pretty much. So from this position you go mellows, horns down two. If we're in a show, we're gonna press the keys down one count before our bell goes down. So it'd be one, two. One, two. Right, carry, right. One, two. Ready. Front. One, two, three. From the attention position, um, when we are marching in a parade for long periods of time, we go into what's called the carry. And the carry looks like this. Your hands are in the position, or the attention position, and it, your bell, you kind of take a circular movement, so it swings out like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna swing your horn like this. At the same time, your right hand is gonna be moving to this part of the horn. It's gonna be kind of right here, and your horn's gonna be um, holding the mouthpiece. So it'll be one fluid motion, one, and then the second count is taking your left hand and moving it over here like you would if you were in a tension. So it would be your left fist on your hip. So the two counts together, it's going to be one, two. Um, when we do go to the carry position, your right hand, you should just hold it comfortably like this. Um, you don't want to really tug onto the mouthpiece or any portion. You just kind of, with your hand, hold the underside of the mouthpiece. One, two. From the carry to the front, it is a three count movement. What you're going to do is the first count, you're going to take your left hand that is in a fist at your side and just hold the horn like this. The second count, you're going to take your right hand and you're going to move it to the valve, so it's going to be like this. And then the third count is when you take it and move all in one fluid motion to the normal attention position. So it's going to look like one, two, three. One, two, three.